but I'm thrilled to be back in the city I love. Donald Trump headlined a rally at New York's Madison Square Garden on Sunday, and Trump sought to use the iconic venue to deliver his closing argument against Democratic candidate Kamala Harris. No one trusts her. No one takes her seriously. Everyone knows she is a very low IQ individual. He vowed to deliver on a promise of mass deportation of those he called illegal immigrants, who he claimed had, quote, conquered American cities. On day one, I will launch the largest deportation program in American history to get the criminals out. Warming up the crowd included a number of pro-Trump celebrities, including former wrestler Hulk Hogan and a comedian named Tony Hinchcliffe, who made this joke. What's going on? Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah, I think it's called Puerto Rico. A senior advisor to the Trump campaign told Reuters that the joke about Puerto Rico, quote, does not reflect the views of President Trump or the campaign. While Puerto Ricans are U.S. citizens, residents of the island cannot vote in U.S. general elections. And the joke at the rally sparked immediate pushback from Democrats, who said it fit with a Republican campaign characterized by derogatory and dehumanizing language. I need people to understand that when, they, when you have some a-hole calling Puerto Rico floating garbage, um, know that that's what they think about you. New York Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez spoke out in a video on Twitch with Democratic vice presidential nominee Tim Walz. Walls said Puerto Ricans should, quote, send a message to Republicans over the comments. There are hundreds of thousands of Puerto Ricans across in battleground states that need to send them a message. <laughs> Vice President Harris happened to visit a Puerto Rican restaurant in Philadelphia earlier that day as she campaigned in the critical swing state of Pennsylvania. She posted a video on social media promising to, quote, invest in Puerto Rico's future as president. Harris has hosted a string of star-studded rallies, appearing alongside Beyonce in Houston on Friday night and former First Lady Michelle Obama on Saturday. Polls ahead of the November 5th election show the candidates essentially tied. To be very frank with you, my internal polling is my instinct. <laughs> Asked about her standing on Sunday, Harris said she felt the enthusiasm of her supporters was palpable. The feeling is one of um, energy and excitement. What I love about the folks who are showing up is it's every walk of who we are as a country and as Americans. And it's, it's very exciting.